morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever time you're watching this, I am Didi, and thank you for joining me for today's Floss Tube. This is Floss Tube number 11, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I've got some good stitching in the last weeks since my last regular Floss Tube. I had so many lovely remarks on my whip parade for which I very much I thank you very very much um, and yeah it's been it's been just fun I spent New Year's Eve at my parents place um, and my mom was cleaning out the attic and she found some stuff and I wondered whether or not I wanted to have it and I found a little gem and I want to share it with you today sorry coffee needed it I needed it it is in this little binder. If you're Dutch, you know uh, who those characters are. Um, it's Jip and Janneke. Uh, I think anyone my age growing up in the Netherlands knows this design. Um, they were children's stories and with these very simple designs. I love them. But it's not about the book. It's about what what's in it. Um, and I'm going to show you a small picture. This is me. And I'm sorry, glaring. This is me at five years old. And I'm making lace. Um, some people may know, but uh, my mom... I used to be, well, used to make a lot of handmade lace projects, things. I've got one set up behind me. Oh, let me grab it. So she made me this. It's the Eusculaap. Uh, it's in lace. And this is made by my mom. There you go. It's a bit glaring because it's in a seed through block. But she made it best way to show it I believe she made this so my mom used to make lace and like every little girl I wanted to do what my mom was doing so I was making lace hand making lace at the age of five and my mom kept my projects so this is the first band uh, you've got two stitches you use stitches to weaves you make regularly so you've got this normal banding and you've got this open weave and these are from 1994 so still when I was well no no this one is from 1993 so this was when I was five and this one I was still five but uh, it was the next year in 1904 and then I started making little animals so I made this little lamb it's all lace um, and yeah, it's cute and then I went uh, I skipped a couple of years and I made this lovely seahorse this is in 97 June 97 so I would have been nine or almost nine um, and yes my mom helped a lot with these and then there's a last project I have in here something went flying out um, this little butterfly or moth I made this there's no date on it um, I made larger projects afterwards. I continued working on it for on and off. It's very tedious work. I was little, loved computer games. Um, but I found these. And these are too good to throw away. So, uh, of course, they're with me now. Um, I'm going to treasure these forever because my mom taught me how to do it. But I thought I'd share. Um, she still does 
uh, lace work I don't uh, I can't do it when my, without my mom present um, what I can do is stitch um, but I can also do a giveaway because in my last regular floss tube I had a Christmas giveaway I don't have the pattern near me at the moment uh, don't worry I still have it but it's somewhere there um, but I've got uh, I, I did a random common picker so let's take a look So congratulations, Abra. I'm so glad you won. Uh, please send me an email. Uh, my email address is down below in the comment section. So send me an email with your information and I'll get you some more stash to stitch from. Because I know Abra is also joining Stitch From Stash. So a new pattern for you. I'm very glad and I hope you like it. Um, so... Uh, I hope to see it uh, come by in the Stitch From Stash monthly updates soon. Uh, it might take a while for me to send it since most of the stores are still closed. Um, and I need to get supplies and those stores are closed. But at the moment everything opens up, I'm going to send it to you. Don't worry. Um, and I can do stitch. And uh, I'm also stitching from stash, so I do have some hole, but this is the last hole I hope to be showing you for a little while. Uh, it's still everything I bought in December, so it doesn't count for this year. Um, some coffee, let me get some coffee. Um, I did some stitching and the things I did between Christmas and well, my last floss tube and my whip parade, they're also in here. Uh, so I'm gonna fly over those. Um, the first one I worked on was my lovely fox. And since I had a vacation, I got lots of progress in. Um, so it hasn't changed since my whip parade. But yeah, the lovely fox. Um, and it's getting real close. So the top page is done. Need to do the tail. Um, and it will come out in January because it's on my Bringo board. Uh, and of that I'll, I'll talk in a little bit. Right. Uh, on that side there's my whip basket. Then I had a new start, which you also already saw. This is the Duck in the Rain, which I called Alfred Jodokus Quack. Just repeating it. Um, and it's very cute. And the bottom page is done. Uh, only the back stitching down below. Uh, so I'll need to do two more flowers and it will be a quick finish. But the duck is so cute. Love it. Um, so yeah, that one, haven't picked it up since, then my abstract lion on which I worked regularly, well the, I believe I picked it up the weeks after, the day after, so the 31st of December I picked it up again. Um, but I didn't stitch on it a lot because I went to my parents and I had to help cook. Um, but I went down and started in filling in the block. So this is the lowest part of the lion's head. So yeah, some progress, not a lot. Uh, but I love stitching with, look at these colors. Aren't these pretty? Pretty, pretty colors. Pretty, pretty colors. Yes, it is. Oh, I'll set that up 
sat down. Alrighty. Then I picked up my favorite whip, which was also in on my Bringo board. So Bringo is the January challenge by the magazine monthly cross stitch Facebook group. Um, this is my board. We're on day eight. I have worked on my day eight project. Um, and it is a goal to work on it at least an hour. I'll have a one hour goal. Um, but since I usually switch projects quite regularly, I just stitch on it the day it's called and then I put it away. So most of these projects got at least a couple of hours in it. Um, but this also got work done before um, the end of the year. So this is what where I'm at. This is Shooting Stars by the Stoze Stick Mister. Uh, it was the 2020 free stitch along. Uh, I'm doing it in the DMC colors on a piece of scrap fabric. No idea what kind of fabric, um, but I'm loving it. And I got some good progress because I finished this block, um, this block and this block. So I'm at 82.5%. Uh, I think I'm running out of this yellow. I'm pretty sure and I ran out of the color the filling color for this block with 25 stitches left so um, luckily I had uh, some in stash that I that actually matched uh, because DMC does have some variegation and, and most of my stash is secondhand stuff um, but yeah this is my favorite whip and that got called, let me check, because I have got it open in the Facebook group. It was open and now it just went wee. Let's see, it was called uh, January 2nd. So I worked on it January 2nd. Uh, I think I got a thousand stitches in. I worked on this during two martini stitches with parade, which was so long, uh, but awesome. And that's all I worked on before the end of the year and a little bit afterwards. And I have an itchy nose, I'm sorry. Oh, it's so cold. It is so cold today. It's literally almost freezing. You know, the kind of cold that I decided I wanted to go to the farmer's market to pick up some fruits. Um, and it's pretty close by. So I walked there. Um, but since I'm filming, I put on my face. And it was so cold, my ears started to tear up. So I had to fix my makeup to film. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it. All right. But I did do some good stitching in the last eight days. And I had a New Year's new start, which is not on the Bringo board and is in a Velcro closed bag. I'm sorry. This is the That Which Does Not Kill a Cell by Urban Stitches. I'm stitching this on 32 count lamb's wool by Permin or Witchelt, whatever you would like to call it. In Europe, I believe it's called Permin. And if you go overseas, it's called Witchelt. Um, and it's a black work cell and I love black work. And this so far I've gotten. And I've got the entire month of January to finish up this border. Uh, and there's dust here and then I got this and this took me three days of stitching. Um, and I must say it, the permanent linen is very stiff, um, but it works so nice for black work because of its stiffness, you can't really distort the fabric. So your stitches stay pretty 
equal, which for black work is quite essential. But look at all the detail. I'm going to put it up closer. Love it. Looks so good. I'm very happy that I joined this cell. Um, and this is going to be a year long cell. So you'll see that pass by quite often. And I decided I wanted to stitch it in the muted tones. Um, they're just a bit pastel so I might even change it to the jewel tones. I'm not sure yet. Um, but so far I'm loving it. Alright. Then I started January 1st with... Let's see, whip that is an indoor activity. So I've got my Bringo board, quick recap. This Bringo board, I've got all my numbers and all the projects I picked for each number on here. Each day, Caroline Zuck, uh, Caroline Zuck uh, calls a number and that number is related to a prompt. And yeah, so you pick up something that matches the prompt. And January 1st was um, stitch a whip or a new start that is an indoor activity. And I picked up Gus, my hot chocolate drinking mouse. And I got over one hour in, or I believe it's a little bit over an hour. Uh, because I want to work on my um, cell, the Urban Stitches cell. So I did all the white. Uh, lots of white. That's all I did. Just plain white. Fill in stitching. Alrighty. Then I worked on my favorite whip, which you already saw. And then I had a new start or a whip with blue. And I had this freebie from the Blue Flower, which is based on a traditional Delft's blue tile, so a Dutch tile. And I can't show you a mock up because I only have the pattern. Um, and I'm stitching this in Blue Wren by Cottage Garden Threads. Lovely variegated. On a piece of, I believe, 28 count scrap fabric. As in, yeah, scrap. And this is how far I've gotten. I love working on this. And I'm really loving the variegation. Um, and I love stitching with these fabrics because the variegation in each strand, so these are already pre-cut, the variegation is exactly the same. So, um, you know, once you put a thread, it will go from dark to light in the exact same way, um, which is easy and helpful if you want to plan. So as you can see, these flowers are mirror images of each other. And I'm loving it. And I'm just about halfway done with it. There are two more flowers here. Um, yeah, love, love, love. And there's gonna be a big lion there. Love this. So I've been pretty active on my Instagram account, which is one of my new year's resolutions trying to be more active on social media so i posted this picture tagging um, the blue flower uh, janine mcgowan and cottage garden threads and then janine mcgowan responded that she loved the, the fabric i chose well the floss i chose for a pattern and i had a big fangirl moment loved it loved it um, so yeah, extremely happy with this whip. Um, and I'm so happy I got to start it with these awesome flosses. Um, and I'm very, very happy that I can get them 
true store in the Netherlands because they're Australian brands and yeah, ship, shipping and stuff. Everything that comes from the European Union for me, I don't have to pay import costs. Everything that comes from out of the uh, European Union, including the UK, I'll need to pay 10 euros at least of import costs. So yeah, not all that fun. Then um, I had to work on number 22, whip or new start that makes you say brrrr. And I chose my Visit Hogsmeade by Country Stitch Magic. Sorry, countrymagicstitch.com. Um, love this piece. Snowfields Village. It makes me say brrr. But also has some kind of warmth. I don't know. So I'm stitching this on a 32 count antique ivory. And I've reached the bottom of the first page. So this is the bottom of the first page. And this is about one third. Um, and I believe the halfway point is somewhere around here. So this is the first house that I've encountered. I finished all um, I finished the mountains. Uh, there's actually a lot of colors in here. And I finished the chimney. So. I think I made great progress on this in one day. And um, if you see my whip parade, my goal for this year is to get two page finishes on this piece. Uh, but it's still January 8th, so I'm not too worried yet. Alrighty. Then I had to work on a whip that is in season. And I pink picked the Stitchonomy 2020 Winter Sal. Uh, which I'm stitching on 16 count Riviera Aqua by Perman on Ada. And I'm so close. There's like one teeny tiny band of snowflakes left. So I finished up these blue snowflakes, then all the white snowflakes, and I start working on the slats down below. So I'm really getting closer to a finish here. I uh, don't think it's on my whip, uh, Bringo board. Again, let's put it up. Let's check. I believe it's not. No, it isn't. I do have a plan for these almost finished projects because otherwise I'll need to st start buying more project bags. And I'm in stitch from stash, so uh, I'm really trying to be a good girl, which is hard. I've seen like a gazillion things I want to buy, and I haven't. Um, and it's really hard, really, really. I'm getting withdrawal signs, but I'm doing it. I can do it, definitely. Eight days and counting. Um, then I had to stitch on something that is sparkly. And it's a design, sorry, Velcro. That doesn't really say sparkly when you look at it. Please focus. It is this lovely design. It's by Helene. Helen Lebert. So she's a French designer. She is in a Dutch cross stitch magazine. And it is this Christmas tree made up of flowers. Um, but it uses DMC diamonds. So I thought that would count for sparkly. 
sorry, Velcro again. And I actually made some good progress and I'm really hoping it's going to show. So this is just a 32 count of white linen. I believe it's a DMC brand. And look at these details. It is so lovely. This is packed full of backstitch and just loose stitches. Um, and let's go over there. This is DMC Diamond. But I thought I really want to get this one out because I've got it on my goals as a finish. And up close, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Um, but again, this one won't come out during Bringo. Because I only put it on there for one day. Um, which is strange because I also need to stitch on something with a flower or a tree. Why I didn't pick this one. I have no idea. But I didn't. Um, I think it would have fit more prompts. But I think I wanted to pick as many whips as possible. Then yesterday I needed to work on my favorite fabric. Uh, well I started stitching on 36 count. Pretty recently. And I have two projects on the same color. And the one I'm talking about, I'm going to get it out of the bag, is this Autumn Woodland Garden Labyrinth by Carolyn Manning Designs. Uh, and I'm stitching this on a 36 count antique ivory. Um, and last time I just had this motif almost done there were some stitches missing in the center so i worked across here there that's 373 stitches doesn't look like much but but i finished this is across the first page so the first page ends right about here and this is almost at the bottom of the first page. But it is a 36 count. And this is very stitch heavy. So this is going to take me a while. I've got it on my yearly goals for two page finishes. So yeah. But I got some good progress in and yesterday I watched um, some cheesy Hallmark movies. Uh, so I was actually more watching than stitching. So I'm still happy I got 300 plus stitches in. Um, but yeah. It wasn't all the progress I hoped for. Um, and if you're wondering, because I picked up some of these sleeves these are book arts liberty sleeves she's back um, you can order her stuff again um, she's on etsy and i linked her shop down below and she's a dutch um, designer maker seller i love these sleeves i have my eye on some more but i'm not buying anything and then the last thing or the project called for today work on something with a house and my mind was like yes I'm gonna work on my home for Christmas sale uh, and I'm gonna have my first finish of the year I do not know why but this is number 21 and I put down Santa's workshop over there I do have Home for Christmas on it. And I believe I've got it for oldest whip. Which is also true. It is my oldest whip. Um, but I was so excited to get working on that. But here we go. 
this is my sandals workshop it also has houses and i actually already worked on it i started the red in the border here so i want to finish all the red today um and maybe do a snowflake and one of the deers if i get that done today i would be very happy I already made almost made it's either an hour or a hundred stitches and i'm at 95 stitches yeah um I wasn't really feeling it this morning. I had some trouble starting, which happens occasionally. It's okay. So yeah, but that means that after eight days, because I'll definitely have this one marked off, I have two lines for which I only need two more. Uh, to get a bringo uh, so 16 and 23 or 15 and 6 it is going pretty good because even if I didn't want to or felt like I didn't have enough time I managed to put an hour in a project so pretty pleased with that so plans are stitch whatever Carolyn Zook calls. And then in two weeks time, there's going to be the first 24 hours of cross stitch. Which is also the weekend that I'll usually film my whip, uh, sorry, floss tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm planning on taking off the Friday and do my 24 hours of cross stitch divided over three days. Um, I'm really planning on doing a 24 hours of cross stitch on which I try to stitch 24 hours straight while vlogging it. So. that's gonna mean that I'll need to be up for at least vlogging, going back I think I'll need to be up for 30 hours eating because I actually time the stitching and when I'm stitching I'm not drinking, going to the toilet, anything else so yeah i'll pl I i'm planning on doing that this year uh but next one so 21st of january that weekend i'm gonna do a finish as much as you can 24 hours of cross stitch so i'll go through my whips uh it's still during bringo so i'll have need to put an hour in every whip that's called and then go to town and finish up a whole lot of things well at least that's the goal so i'm kind of hoping that home for christmas and my christmas owls are called that weekend because both have at least an hour's work in them um, and then I'll get those finished that would be great yeah um, but yeah that's that's plans for now uh, and like last time I'm gonna vlog it so you'll see my mood go meep and go a little woohoo yeah just like last time um, so, and the final bit of this video is going to be whole, and the first piece, pretty simple. I found this on a Dutch secondhand website. It's the Winter Goddess by Joan Elliott Design. 
simple came in an envelope. Love this project. And this is, um, I get credits for finishes in Stitch from Stash. I really want to get up this project. So get the flosses, the crinics, the beads for this project. I, I, I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, and uh, that's the goal I'm working towards too. Um, and I also want to get up my sleeping bee from the blue flower. I still need some specialty flosses for that. And then the post officer, postman, postman came with a package and he said, Oh, I'm sorry, lady. It's, it's so heavy. Well, I work out once a week, but the thing I love doing most of all is lifting weights. So yeah, it was pretty funny. The moment I picked up the parcel one armed I said, Oh, thank you. It's all fine. It's fine. His face. So worth it. So worth it. But I picked up these. We're not there yet. Last one. Promise. Ooh, there we go. It fell over, so that's why. It's pretty hard. I picked up the cross stitch collection magazines. Uh, I haven't counted them, but she had a complete year's worth of the cross stitch collection. So 12 editions for 10 euros listed. And you say, why would you pick up all these old magazines? Um, well, there's some from 2005 in there. I believe I've got the entire 2005 here, but let me just grab just, just a few. All right. Featuring this Joan Elliott design or this Joan Elliott design. If it wasn't enough, I've got another Joan Elliott design. Uh, this one didn't have a Joan Elliott design, but it is very cute. Uh, but this one does. This one does. Another one. Another one. Another one. Do I need to continue or do you get my drift? Another one. Um, those don't. Nope. 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 Yeah. Lots of gorgeous designs and many, many Joan Elliott designs. And I love these designs. Uh, I think I got total, I haven't counted, at least 25 Joan Elliott designs in these magazines, including another one of these. Um, so these take out charge because this is also from the cross stitch collection and I didn't know. Um, so somehow I ended up buying two of the same again. Um, like I said, I already have, uh, there were quite a few Joan Elliott designs in the Dutch, uh, cross stitch magazine. Um, I had some doubles in that and now I have another double. I've got more Joan Elliott than I can possibly ever finish, but I love them. And there are some gorgeous, uh, black work patterns in here. Uh, but in this entire pile, because guys, this is pretty heavy, but it's 
good for lifting weights let's say it like this um I, I i need to find there's a gorgeous geisha in black work so pretty um so yeah i think th this was a steal uh and i actually had to I was so proud of myself that I didn't get all the years he had because I believe it would have cost me 100 euros and I thought well I can't do that uh, if they're still on there at the end of January I might break my rule and, and get those um, but there's so much to stitch in here and these patterns are awesome. I think every magazine has at least one project I want to start. So on a gloomy day like today, I can easily sit down and start making lists of things I want to buy. But it's a lot. Um, and since they're pretty heavy, I'm going to put them down because it's hurting my legs. Um, so yeah. It is, if you do not mind getting old magazines, um, I would really advise you to go check out the secondhand uh, websites that are around um, and try to find those deals because guys, this, this is just... I love the Joan Elliott designs, but her patterns aren't cheap. And yeah, I got 20, 25 of them. Uh, and the horrible part was that I could only see the first of each year. So I just had, had to guess whether or not there was something in it that I would want to stitch. This one was on it. And there's a, on this side, a Monet. A pattern of, an, of a Monet, which I really love. And I also love the elephant. Um, but yeah, that's how I had to pick which years I wanted. And I think I really picked the right ones because sometimes you did the, the spread out. And yeah, so go check out those secondhand websites because, guys, deals deals yeah so since it's cold and gloomy and wet outside i'm gonna leave it at this uh, abra please please contact me at the email address shown below uh, and i'll get you the pattern as soon as possible i wish you all a very happy stitchy day uh, that's what i'm gonna do because guys i'm not going out there again no no way um I'm gonna stitch and I think I'm gonna wear watch the blacklist some more and tomorrow I'll need to work on school but that's tomorrow today I'm gonna stitch so yeah thank you so much for watching and please drop me a comment down below and follow me on Instagram DDS crafts uh, it's also down below in the description section so in the proper Brabants way. How do?